This video will demonstrate how to obtain the odds ratio in relative risk. In this example, smoking status will be the risk factor and lung cancer the outcome. To obtain these measures, we select Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Cross Tabs. We move the risk factor, smoking status, to the rows box and the outcome, lung cancer, to the columns box. Next we select the cells button and make a check next to the row percentages and then continue. This is followed by selecting the statistics button where we make a check next to risk and then continue. Now we're ready to run it so we select the OK button. This table is the cross tabulation. From checking the row percent, we see that 15.8% of the smokers develop cancer and 1.0% of the non-smokers develop cancer. The next table gives the odds ratio and relative risk. The top row is the odds ratio. and We see that the odds of developing cancer are 18.56 times greater for smokers compared to non-smokers. The middle row, labeled for cohort lung cancer equals cancer, gives the relative risk when the outcome is cancer, and we see it is about 15.8, which is congruent with the ratio of the row percents in the cross-tabulation table, 15.8% divided by 1.0%. The final row, labeled for cohort lung cancer equals no cancer, gives the relative risk for the outcome no cancer, which is 84.2% divided by 99.0%, and that equals 0.85. SPSS provides both relative risk because it does not know which outcome the user is interested in. This completes the demonstration of how to attain odds ratios and relative risk.